Hello and welcome. We are live from the 1988 NFL Honors in Las Vegas, Nevada. We're expecting a big night here as the commissioner will announce the awards for this season. We expect him to take the podium at any moment. Um, the stars of stars are out tonight for this one. This is uh, one of the highlights of the season, and here's the commissioner. The Offensive Rookie of the Year is John Steffens, running back, Patriots. Congratulations to John, the running back, and uh, he had a fine season, and we wish him nothing but the best on his upcoming career. Well done, young man. All right, a big start to the evening there with a well-deserved award for Mr. Steffens, and uh, that brings us to the first award. So now the second award should uh, follow suit uh, with any moment, the commissioner coming out for the announcement. Um, what are you expecting here tonight, Bill? Well, uh, I'm thinking that... Uh, this is going to be a big one coming up here. I can't wait to see the next award. The next award we're expecting the Defensive Rookie of the Year and uh, lots of strong competition in this field. Uh, should be interesting to see how this one plays out. It looks like the commissioner is on his way in. The Defensive Rookie of the Year is... Eric McMillan. Eric McMillan. Quarterback, Jets. A fine season for Eric McMillan. Uh, he should have a bright future ahead of him with the Jets. Uh, They're still in rebuilding phase, but uh, we're expecting some big things in the years to come. All right, two big awards already taken off the books here. And um, I would have expected nothing less. Both of those young men had fine rookie seasons. Now we're going to get on to the other awards here shortly as uh, we're just awaiting that commissioner's return to the stage. And uh, Offensive Player of the Year will be the next category. So many big names this year in this category. It's just a matter of who's going to take home the award. And it looks like the commissioner is on his way to the podium. The Offensive Player of the Year is Joe Montana, quarterback, 49ers. Montana had a gr another great season. His uh, career is just legendary at this point. Um, nothing you can say about this pick other than uh, there was some stiff competition, but Montana pulled it out and he deserves it. Yes, another fine season for the uh, 49ers. Uh, next up will be Defensive Player of the Year. Another very strong category this season. So many players uh, that you could name for this. Just a matter of who. So many strong players in this category. You've got... Um, Lawrence Taylor from the Giants, Mike Singletary from the Bears, both had such strong seasons. Um, any Anybody's guess who's going to pull this one out. We're just waiting for the word from the commissioner, as this is going to be one of the most contested positions of the year for the award. There he is. The Defensive Player of the Year award goes to Mike Singletary, linebacker, Bears. Singletary had an incredible year. Well, this one is a little bit of controversy. I was kind of expecting Lawrence Taylor to pull it out. But in the end, who can argue with Singletary? What a season he had. All right. Wow, this has really been off to a hot start here, start here tonight. Now we've got the Rookie of the Year award coming up. And, uh, you know, this one is uh, going to be a tough call. McMillan and Steffens already took home the Offensive Rookie and the Defensive Rookie of the Year. Um, could be one of those guys, or it could be somebody else overall who's had an incredible year. Quite the batch of rookies to choose from. Uh, it's just a matter of who comes up with the pick in the end. Uh, 
Another strong possibility is Keith Jackson. He also had an incredible year, so I would expect it to be from one of those three, but uh, there could be some other guys as well. And there's the commissioner. For the Rookie of the Year award is Keith Jackson. Wow, Eagles. Keith Jackson with the Eagles. And there he is in action. Keith Jackson with quite a season here. We're expecting... Uh, another breakout season from him again next year and uh, as the Eagles look to get things going in the right direction. Well, that one was a little bit surprising, but not really. He was one of the top three rookies all season long. And uh, after the other two were selected for offensive and defensive, I guess he was the one uh, left to take the whole thing. So... Now we just wait on the commissioner as we, here he is, the commissioner. The Coach of the Year award goes to Sam Weish. Sam Weish, an incredible season. There's Sam with his headset on and uh, what a fine coaching job he did this season, leading the Bengals all the way and into the play, deep into the playoffs and even further. Well done, Sam. So quarterback of the year goes to Boomer Esiason, and what a fine season he had at the helm, leading this Bengals offense and bringing home a Super Bowl to the Queen City. Well done, Boomer. All right, it's getting more and more exciting by the minute here with Boomer bringing home the last award. Now we just await the commissioner to name the best running back award for 1988. And uh, so many, so many great running backs this year. James Brooks, Tony Dorsett, uh, Icky Woods had an outstanding season. Who could it be? We just were waiting on the commissioner to come and give us the answer. And there he is. So the best running back award goes to... Tony Dorsett, Cowboys. Tony Dorsett, what a year he had for the Cowboys. Tony's had an outstanding career with the Cowboys and another fine season, turning him into one of the all-time greats, soon to be someday in the ring of honor with the Cowboys. That's going to bring us up next to the Wide Receiver of the Year Award. So many greats this year, Jerry Rice. Chris Collinsworth, Phil McConkey. Who's going to bring home the award? We'll have to wait and see. The commissioner should be out any moment. And there he is. The best wide receiver award goes to Jerry Rice, wide receiver, 49ers. And Jerry Rice, of course. What a season he had. Uh, leading the 49ers in receptions, receiving yards. Well done, Jerry. I'm sure his Hall of Fame trajectory will continue on in the years to come. Another fine season by Jerry and a well-deserved award there. Uh, he did have some stiff competition, but in the end, you know, what are you going to do? And uh, the commissioner should be out here in a minute with the uh, Best Tight End Award. And it uh, looks like here he comes now. So the best tight end award goes to Ozzie Newsome. Ozzie Newsome. Browns. A fine season for Ozzie, and uh, he's trying to bring the Browns back into major contention. It's going to take some work, but uh, if anybody can get him there, he can. All right, this would come down to who knows. Anthony Munoz, Randy Cross, so many greats across the NFL at this unsung position. But uh, they're the big dogs when it comes down to it on Sundays. If you don't have a good lineman, your quarterback's not going to have a good day and your running back is going to struggle. These are the guys who fight to make it happen. The commissioner, there he is. Here is the best O-Lineman award. It goes to Anthony Munoz, Bengals. And there he is, Anthony Munoz, one of the all-time great linemen in the history of the NFL. Congratulations, Anthony, on another great season.
All right, 1988 was a great year for linemen. We even had in the Super Bowl this year the great Tim Crumry shattering his leg. Um, what a great season he had up to that point. But, you know, there's also Reggie White, uh, so many other guys, Clay Matthews. Who could, who could bring it home this year? I'm not sure. And there's the commissioner. The best defensive lineman award goes to Reggie White. Reggie Eagles. White. There's a picture of Reggie, the all-time great, lining up, getting ready to sack somebody, obviously. Another great year for Reggie. Carry on, young man. All right, so that was the Minister of Defense there. And now we'll find out the next award as they just get bigger and bigger. The Best Linebacker Award. This is one of my favorites, Bill. I can't wait to see who's going to bring it home this year. The linebackers across the league were playing at a phenomenal rate this season. Now we just need uh, the commissioner to come and tell us who was the best. The Best Linebacker Award goes to... Lawrence Taylor, Giants. Well, not much of a surprise there to me because Lawrence Taylor's been a great one. I got a feeling someday he's going to find himself in Cooperstown. But uh, he's been a monster on the field and a fine, fine season from Lawrence Taylor. Well done, Lawrence. All right, congratulations, LT. Another fine season. We love watching you play. I uh, can't wait to see you out there again next year. Now we're on to the Defensive Back of the Year Award, and there's the commissioner. The best defensive back award goes to Ronnie Lippett, Patriots. All right, the Patriots, well represented here tonight. And congratulations there, Ron. When we're expecting great things from you again next season, congratulations. All right, and for this next award, you have to have ice water in your veins. You have to be clutch to win the Kicker of the Year Award. These guys have to step up there with no time on the clock. Oh, and there's the commissioner. The Kicker of the Year Award goes to Jim Breach, kicker, Cincinnati. Jim Breach. All right, there he is, came up clutch, the crafty veteran in week 16 against the Baltimore Ravens with a last-minute field goal against one of the newest teams in the NFL, along with the Tex Texans and the Jaguars and the Carolina Panthers. And uh, well done, Jim. And time for the Super Bowl MVP Award. I got a pretty good hunch who this is going to be, but we'll see. There's the commissioner. The Super Bowl MVP goes to Boomer Esiason, quarterback, Cincinnati Bengals. As we suspected, Bill, Boomer Esiason. Boomer had an incredible season leading the Bengals in his trip back to Cincinnati. The, nobody expected this. It just was an incredible ride from beginning to end. Well done, Boomer, and keep it going. All right, now for the award we've been waiting for, the 1988 NFL MVP, and there's the commissioner now. The MVP award goes to Joe Montana, quarterback, 49ers. Wow, Joe Montana. Despite falling to the Bengals in the Super Bowl, Montana... Had another incredible year. Here he is with the trophy. Um, congratulations, Joe. Sorry you weren't able to bring home the Super Bowl this year. That baby's heading back to Cincinnati. And uh, all right, we appreciate having you guys with us here tonight. We've had a great evening, and uh, we look forward to the 1989 NFL season. Maybe one of the all-time great seasons. Congratulations again to the Bengals for winning the Super Bowl and to Joe Montana on his great season as the quarterback of the 49ers. So long and farewell from Fox News.